morning guys today is Tuesday and I'm gonna film a tutorial using all new products or at least I think they're new and I haven't used them before in tutorials they're either new that I've received or that I've tested out and I haven't used in a tutorial yet one that I might have used last week but it's still new I'm gonna do a kind of barely there look I've got a red lip that I want to use but I kind of want to really keep the skin natural because it is a summer it's still really hot here I know loads of you that follow me are in summer as well so I figured it would be quite nice to do a barely there skin so still kind of like a no makeup makeup look to the skin but with a red lip what is that it sounded like there was gonna be a ship coming through weird so to my skin I've already applied this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense and this is an SPF of 30 and it's got a soft radiance to it so it gives you that kind of subtle luminosity to the skin. What's great about this is it is for indoors and outdoor protection and by indoor we mean that blue light that we get from our mobile phones and computers. You don't think about how that kind of blue light is damaging to the skin and it can cause premature aging which nobody wants <laughs> so that's what this is really good for it's geared towards blue light protection as well as outdoors with the UV rays so I've got that over all of my skin but I've also got the SPF 50 on my pigmentation because I like to make sure that is fully protected and the one I use is the SVR which was in my previous no makeup makeup tutorial I had already filmed me putting on my primer and my sunscreen then I realized it wasn't actually recording properly square I went in with these products by Aborian, and Aborian is a Korean skincare, really good for your skin. This here is the Bamboo Matte and the Bamboo Glow, and this is kind of what they look like. Beautiful packaging, so alluring. This one is the Glow, which I've applied on my face to make sure it still looks dewy and has that nice youthful appearance. And then I've gone in with the Bamboo Matte through the T-section of my face. They smell really fresh, they've got a nice cooling effect to the skin and the lady that owns Aborian actually made these for her daughter because she's got that combination skin as she's a teenager. So she was after something that gave her both a dewy appearance but also a mattifying appearance especially through the T-section because that's where teenagers and a lot of us with combination skin get oily. So I've applied those to my skin. <laughs> That's where we're up to. Now I'm going in with another Aborian product. This is their CC cream. This is also an SPF of 25. Don't think by layering your SPF that it's gonna be any heavier, cause it's not. I remember watching a program on SPF in foundations and how much you would actually need in order to get the same protection with just using your foundation as you would using a sunscreen alone. And you needed eight times the amount of your foundation for it to be as protective as using sunscreen alone. So always use sunscreen first, then your foundation. So this is their CC cream and it comes in two universal shades. So you've got light and the darker one. I've got the dark one because I do have a tan at the minute and obviously I wear 50 on my face so I ain't getting no color on there. So as you can see, it comes out white. It's got self-adjusting pigments that start to transform. I find this comes out a little bit on the pink side for me. Um, the light one's too light. I should really mix them together, but it does match my tan, which is quite nice. But it, as I say, is a little bit more pinky than I would like. I've only tried it a couple of times, but I really like it. Similar to the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, I like that tinted moisturiser effect. I like having something really light to the skin and then just going in with a concealer to correct any areas that need a little bit more coverage. This smells so pretty. It's a really delicate scent. You only need a light layer like you would with moisturiser, you just use a light layer and you can use this underneath a BB cream or a tinted moisturiser but I find that this alone with a little bit of concealer is enough for me, especially through the summer. It just evens out your skin tone, gives you a little bit of colour which is quite nice. As I say, this is the darker one of the two. It does match me up once the rest of my makeup is complete. So I'm now going in with the Flawless Fusion Concealer by Laura Mercier. This is the one I used the other week in my tutorial. So it's not exactly new new, but I've only had it a few weeks and I really like it, especially with this kind of barely there natural no makeup makeup look. And I apply it to my cheeks, the same way I applied it the other day. And then I just work that in with my Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. You find that you're using a tinted moisturiser that does give you a little bit of colour and you feel like it's not quite right. Add in a little bit of concealer through the centre of your face is just going to make your face look more natural. Because our face is naturally more highlighted through the centre, it gives that illusion. Just make sure you work it in so you don't get any brush stroke marks. 
Next up I'm going to tackle my pigmentation. I'm going to do the same as I did last time and I'm going to use the Too Faced Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealers. And if you want to see how I did that, go and see my No Makeup Makeup look that I uploaded two weeks ago because I've already done it so I don't need to do it in this tutorial. So I will cover my pigmentation and then come back. Okay, as you can see I have covered my pigmentation and I've also got a little bit of pigmentation here which I've already put concealer on. I'm going to keep the eyes really natural and I've got this White Peach Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. It's got some really nice colours in it, all quite, I'd say quite natural, there are some darker shades in it along here. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here mixed with this one. So we're going to put these over the lid. I'm going to use a little bit less of the peach cream which is the lightest shade because that is really light. So we're going to take this over the mobile lid and I'm using a flat shader brush to do this. This is a flat shader brush and as you can see it's quite thin, all the bristles are packed tightly together so you don't lose too much of the product in the brush, instead you can pack it onto the eyelid itself. I'm going to rub that in with my finger because it is quite light, a lot lighter than I anticipated. The peach looks like it's going to be too dark, the white looks like it's too light but I might also go in with a little bit of the this one here called Peach Suede. I don't apply that over the top. So I'm going to turn the brush over and just press that over the top just to take down the peach cream because that is quite light. That's a bit better. So I've got this Be A Light palette by Becca Cosmetics. This one I've got two, I've got light and medium. I'm going to take this contour colour through the socket of the eye. I'm going to use my Zoeva 228 brush to do this. When you look directly into the mirror you can see where your eye naturally creases and that is your socket. And if you use a slightly tapered brush, the bristles will sit into the socket and do the work for you. So they go backwards and forwards. We want this to be really subtle because we just want a barely there look. Again, almost like a no makeup makeup look. So last week I used a brown eyeliner. This week I've got this new one by Esquido, which is a black eyeliner. They do black and brown. So we're going to take this along the lash line. It's quite soft, which is quite nice. I quite like it, it's nice. Um, just doing short motions really close to the lash line while looking down into a mirror. Then I'm going to take a really thin brush. This one is by Zoeva. It's the 331 Lip Brush. And I'm going to softly run that along the top. And what that's going to do is just make it a little bit softer, but also more like a straight line as opposed to a jaggedy line that you get with eyeliners. Then with what's left on the bristles, you can start to just pull it out softly on the outer edge and create a soft wing. Just building that up with the tip of the bristles. And this isn't a cold pencil, this is a gel pencil. And you can feel that when you've applied it and it sets, it's not going anywhere. So you get a little bit of working time with it. But you can feel when you're rubbing over it with a brush, once it's set, it kind of goes stiff so you can't can't move it again. So I'm going to place this underneath my lashes and blink onto the very tip of it and this is going to line my tight line. And if you go right to the very edge instead of right under there, just at the very edge where your eyelashes meet your skin, it's not going to print on your bottom lash line. So again, dip my bristles into the edge of the gel liner and then we're going to push that on the inner corner. Okay, so I picked this up thinking I'm going to use it because I like a matte bronzer. This is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Matte Bronzer. It says Radiant Matte Bronzer. I'm confused by that because it's either matte or it's radiant. It's either matte or it's glowy. It's either matte or it's luminous. Matte to me means no shimmer particles at all. So this is the packaging. It's really pretty. That's not matte. I don't know. Okay, so as that isn't a matte bronzer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I wanted to use a new product, but now I've seen it and I've opened it, I don't want to use it because I don't like that. This is a completely matte bronzer. This is what I like. But if you like radiance, then you might want to give that one a go. Sweep it over the nose where the sun would hit. 
by the way I've already done my eyebrows off camera because I have a tutorial on how to do that so check it out if you want to so I've got two blushes by Too Faced in Pinch My Cheeks and So Peachy so cute packaging this one is Peach My Cheeks maybe we should try a little bit of that so it's like a cream and I believe it goes to a kind of powdery finish you need a really soft hand to apply this with your finger so that you don't disturb your base makeup Next up I'm going to try the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. So it's got a kind of multi bristle wand, slightly curved to follow the shape of the eye. It's going to be hard to beat a Bad Girl Bang Mascara because that is my ultimate favourite at the minute. And again I like mascaras when you've been wearing them for at least two weeks because the air gets in and it just thickens the formula and it goes on nicer. doesn't feel very black. I think the Bad Girl Bang is so black that now anything else I try in comparison feels like a grey black or a blue black. Here's where I've lost some lashes at the minute in this front bit so they're baby ones at the moment. No, this is definitely a fail for me. What a shame. I really like brush. Look at my lashes. It just makes them look sparse and Spidery. I think the only way to salvage this is to put some individuals on and I've applied a different mascara to my bottom lashes because that one is pants. Okay so I've put some individuals on, try and salvage what I can of my lashes, I should have just gone with my normal mascara. So I'm going to move on to highlight, I've got the new palette by Glam Glow, this is so nice, it's kind of like a rubberized silicone case, if you drop it it's probably going to absorb the shock a bit and probably wash it off if it gets grubby as well. So we've got a nice mirror in the case and then we have Pearl Glow, Nude Glow and Sun Glow. I think we're going to use the Nude Glow. I'm only going to apply a very tiny amount onto the tops of the cheekbones. Work that over the high points of the face. So it's really subtle. These are the swatches. So the last thing I've got to apply is the red lip and this one is by Melt Cosmetics and it's called Immoral. If you follow me on Instagram you may have already seen it. I think it's absolutely stunning. It is a liquid lipstick. I feel like Milk Cosmetics do the best liquid lipsticks because they're so comfortable, they smell nice and they're not drying. So this one is a scarlet red and it is one that suits all skin tones. As you can see the colour payoff is super intense. I love that the applicator is long because it allows you just to draw the lines perfectly on your lips. Imagine if I had a little lip like that. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this look because it's so kind of barely there on the skin, which is really, really pretty for the summer, beautiful for holidays, and having the kind of black liner that's really subtle because it's a gel pencil and we've softened it with a brush and just having a pop of colour on the lips just gives your skin life and makes you look made up all about looking over the top. So not all the products were a hit for me. There are a few there that I probably wouldn't pick up again. The ones I really like are the Arborean CC Cream, really lovely. Again, comes in two universal shades. I quite like the Esquido pencil, I'd like to try the brown one out. Love the lip. Absolutely love, love, love. Would look beautiful on holiday and for the holiday season. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you've got any requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Show Me Makeup. I do have Snapchat at Shona Scott. And I also have a Depop shop where I sell some of my makeup products and that is at Show Me Makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.